This video demonstrates calibrating the servo motors for the MiArm Wi-Fi kit. So let's get started. We're going to use the uh, MiArm Wi-Fi board. Um, here it is here. It's based on an ESP8266. Uh, we run it on the Arduino IDE. Uh, you can see this is a version 2.0. And if I flick it over to the back, you can see the specifications for the board at the top there. Um, and also just a little message to say thank you very much for buying genuine MiArm products. Uh, we're going to use this to calibrate our four servo motors. If you didn't know, these are the servos here, one, two, three, four. Although there are four servos, two of them are calibrated the same. So the servos that go into the positions of the claw and on the left side of the MiArm are calibrated the same. The, claw, the servo motor that goes on the right side and the base are calibrated differently. And we'll go through each one of those in turn. So now we're just going to set up and give power to the board. To run the servo motor you need both power and a signal from your control board. So because the MiArm Wi-Fi board is pre-programmed that will do that straight away. So if you give it power you can see that blue light flashing and um, you should be able to, to move the servo motors. So to do that then we plug in the connecting cable onto the baseboard and then for calibrating each one what we're actually going to do is we're going to plug the servos in but we're going to use just the um, the position on the board which is used to control the base servo which conveniently is placed above where it says top. Now for the servo to work you need to plug it in the right way and the way you do this is to line up the orange cable with a little O or dot on the board which you can see there. So once that's plugged in you can see the servo and um, we're going to put on one of these black plastic parts which is called a servo horn. Since we're going to set the base servo first we'll use this double servo horn which if you remember back from the diagram earlier on in the video um, you can see goes on for the base servo. So we're going to put it on in a position and then if we use the joysticks we can rotate that to see where it sits. Actually I'm going to pop it off and I'm going to put it so it's uh, straight up and down because that's really where we want its central point to be. So here we've got moved it left and moved it right and you can see it's not bad it's quite close to, um, to being in the right position here so um, we'll just pop it off and move it one of the teeth on the um, on the metal gear part re replace it uh, and try again actually i think we've probably moved it off from where we wanted to go so we'll put it back on again and you can see moving left to right right to left and then back into the middle that um, that servo is now calibrated and uh, once that's calibrated and in position we can use um, one of the little machine screws that comes in the pack you can see here and um, I'll grab a screwdriver from off screen and we can secure that in place and that servo will now stay calibrated and that will be our base servo um, all ready and done. So one last test before we unplug so sorry I'm just trying to get this in the light so you can see it properly um, you can see there going left to right uh, and that's the full range of that servo. So now when that sits in the middle and when the code tell it, tells it to sit in the middle um, it'll go there. I mean obviously we can adjust it slightly uh, when we start to program the MiArm but that is the first servo calibrated. So let's move on and uh, now let's calibrate one of the, uh, one of the servos uh, that will be the claw or the left side. So now we go back into the bag of our black plastic pieces, which are called servo horns, and select the single servo horn. And um, yeah, just so take a look, that's the one you want to get. And place it on again. If you place it in the middle, the servos are tested at factory. We buy good servos, so they do tend to come around in the middle but it's always good to test. Again, we're still using that, that base servo position, so it's just above where it says top. Uh, plug that in, as you can see, moving left and right, we're not far off. Um, there's a bit more range on the to the right than there is to the left, so we'll pop this back off, adjust it slightly to the left, and then test again. 
and you can see we've got a pretty good range there. So we'll unplug that because it's done. In fact, what we've forgotten to do is put the uh, put the screw in there to uh, to make sure it doesn't move. It won't move on its own. It has to be pulled off of the uh, off of the gear underneath um, to move it. But this just keeps it solid. So when you get round to building the me arm, they'll stay in position. I'm just going to plug it back in again and have another quick test to make sure we're in the right place. I think that's great. So we'll leave that in the middle. So we can, and leaving them in their middle positions means we can very easily identify when it comes to build which servo is which. So although some people you might see videos where they'll mark the servo, you don't really need to do this because you're going to put these into position. So you're going to have two in that same way. So we're going to do this next one. Uh, we're going to take the same servo horn and, uh, and we're going to put it into the same position on the servo. Again, we're going to use that base position on the board. The reason we use that is because the base has the full range. Some of the servos have a shorter range when it comes to building the me arm. So in this pre-programmed board, they won't move the full range if you plug them into that position. See, this servo is a lot is, is off a lot more. So again, we've moved that to the side. We'll adjust it to what we want it to be when it goes to that left hand range. And then we'll test the full range again. So there we go, left to right, and then place it in the middle. Not forgetting the screw this time, like we did last time. We can screw that on. And then we just have one more servo left to, uh, to calibrate. Another test, always testing. When you come to build the arm as well, it's great to just to, to plug these servos in and, uh, and test the range to make sure all of your um, joints are significant can can uh, do the movements that they're supposed to so coming on to this last one this is the servo that will go on the right hand side of the me arm and control the main arm backwards and forwards up and down uh, so this we want it to stick out to the side so again using the base position so we can test the full range backwards and forwards Again, just making sure that you can see that it's in that still we're still using the same position so for calibration we're always using that base position and that's just to make sure we get this this full range this full 180 range and uh, and yeah that one again was spot on from the factory so that's uh, that's that's good to see screw that together and that is the last servo so that's now all four of your servos completed and calibrated and you're ready to build the me arm so uh, check out our next video on how to build thank you